This leveling build is absurdly fast and very easy to play. If you're looking for a powerful leveling build to progress through New World Eternum as fast as possible, give this build a try. The build revolves around the Fire Staff, and specifically the Flamethrower ability. This is a toggleable ability that continually drains your mana to deal very high fire damage to everything in front of you. Flamethrower absolutely melts through enemy health bars and kills most creatures very quickly. It requires next to no input from the player, plus it's even faster when you can group up multiple enemies at once. It doesn't matter what build you're planning to play in the endgame, since it's cheap to respec, and this build will get you there fast. First things first, if you don't have one already, you need a decent fire staff, so head to the trading post and see what's available. Depending on your level, you should be able to get a good fire staff for about 100 gold or less, and while you're here, buy a few cheap pieces of gear with intelligence on them if you're lacking in a particular slot. Pump all your stats into intelligence and respec if you need to. Don't worry about survivability, you're a glass cannon and you don't need to care about the other stats. I managed to get to 100 intelligence by level 20 and you should manage the same. For your weapon mastery, pick Flamethrower at the start of the Pyromancer tree, then all the subsequent talents that connect to it. The first increases Flamethrower's range, which helps you kite mobs and hit more targets, while the second increases its base damage. The third one removes Flamethrower's cooldown when you cancel it or dodge, which makes it much more versatile. I also chose Burnout, which is a nice movement ability that makes traversal a bit faster. You can either get Fireball or Incinerate for your third ability, but most importantly, spend one point in the Fire Mage tree to get Spell Focus. This makes heavy attacks restore your mana, so you can use Flamethrower for longer. Spend the rest of your points on anything that increases your damage output, like the talents that buff Smolder. Your second weapon can really be anything, but I recommend either the Life Staff for more sustain, or the Ice Gauntlet for damage abilities that you can just set and forget. For the most part though, Flamethrower will melt through enemies so fast, you won't need to think about your second weapon. And that's it. Now you can go around melting faces with Flamethrower, and all you need to do is spray and pray. The main thing about this playstyle is that you make sure to avoid getting staggered out of Flamethrower. With the Pyrodancer talent, dodging or cancelling Flamethrower doesn't put it on cooldown, so make sure to dodge when there's a heavy attack incoming, and reactivate Flamethrower afterwards. If you run out of mana, use heavy attacks to regenerate it from a distance, then get back into close range when you have enough for at least a few seconds of Flamethrower. If you found this guide helpful, you can help us out by liking and subscribing to Pure Game Guides. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.